Hello there, I'm Julia Quinn and I'm following on from Arlene. I hope you enjoyed her beautiful project featuring Gingerbread Sweet. My project features the Stars Are Shining bundle, which includes this great stamp set with 12, 12 stamps, photo polymer, and also a coordinating punch. You can see it here in our mini catalogue there and I just think it's a great stamp set. I love coordinating stamp sets that coordinate with a punch as well as a stamp set and I love the the font that's used for the images and it's got baubles as well as stars and I've used the stars a heap of times and possibly you may have seen some of my projects featuring this bundle before. So the card I'm making is a pillar card which folds perfectly to fit into your envelope and I'm doing using heat embossing technique heat resist with some sponging behind and some window sheet to create the floating stars and then you've got your writing panel on the back okay so I'll just pop that up there so you can see that and put these out of the way for the minute the first thing I need to do I've used Knight of Navy as my background cardstock and I'm going to cut it in half lengthwise, so this should work. Um, whether you're using metric or imperial cardstock, I'm using metric, so that's my first default. But I've tried to make the measurements for both of both types of cards. And to create my card, I just need to put you out of the way. I'm using my score board my simply scored board and I've also got my metric plate on top okay but this would work for you if you're using um, imperial as well so what I'm doing with the full card stock this creates two cards so after I've finished scoring I can cut it in half to create two two cards but to create the pillars I'm scoring every two centimeters if you're using imperial I would make this in three quarter inch um, divisions. So three quarters of an inch, one and a half, two and a quarter, and three inches. So that from that side, and then just flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. That way it'll be perfectly even at both ends of your cardstock. Okay, so that's my basic scoring there. So again, half a piece of cardstock I've scored at two four six and eight centimeters at each end of the long long piece of my cardstock and then if you're using imperial three quarters of an inch one and a half two and a quarter and three inches okay and then with my trimmer I'll just cut my cardstock in half lengthways and then I've got two cards ready to go all right pop that out of the way all right and then to make your pillar card just basically fold on all of your score lines fold 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 put adhesive on right next to the score line on the last one and then tuck that in there now it does make a square pillar but to glue it I'm going to fold it flat because you need this card to fold flat to fit in a standard envelope and it also enables you to keep it nice and straight okay so again on this one put my adhesive close to my score line and then fold that flat that way and then that's my basic pillar card ready to go and when you put it in your envelope you fold both of them to the same direction and it's ready to go okay so there's my basic background card pop this back in here so you can see what I'm doing here the next step is to create all those lovely starry backgrounds and I've got I have done all of my heat embossing ahead of time for you I've used Versamark ink and the star image 
from the stamp set and then stamped my stars randomly all over my front panel. Now these panels are just, and you'll have to measure with your cardstock, just a little bit smaller than the edge. So for me, in metric, my card width is 10.5 centimetres. So this is shimmery white cardstock and I've made it 10 centimetres. And then I just measured this piece of cardstock here in the middle. And for me, that was almost nine and a half centimeters, not quite. And so my piece of shimmery white is 10 by nine. And I've created two of them the same, and one's going to be the back panel. And then I did the same process with the two pillars, uh, just measured a little bit inside the pillars to get my thing. Right, yeah, now the next step I'm going to do is to color my stars. So I've already heat embossed them with silver embossing powder and when you buy our um, silver embossing powder it comes with all the metallics which is really awesome so you get lots more to play with but I'm using silver with my blue. And I'm using Pacific Point and Night of Navy with one of my, my blue blending brush which I use for all sorts of blues. And I've got just a little sheet of um, the grid paper that comes from the Stamparatus here so that that enables me to have a nice clean surface. When I'm using my blending brush I like to stroke it across the ink pad rather than just pat it on so that seems to load up more ink. I'm starting off the edge and then just in circular motions going all over all over my card there. Okay off the edge and keep going all over it. Um, you can add as much depth as you want. This is meant to be a night sky with the stars shining in it. So I like, you know, just keep adding layers with the blending. The more layers you add, these brushes are the best, best bit of sponging I've ever done in my entire life. I'm not usually very good at sponging or blending, but I have found that the softness of these gorgeous bristles just work an absolute treat. So sponging, 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 sponging. Blending, 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 blending. All right, while I've still got my Pacific Point out, I'll do my other pieces. This is the writing panel for the back. And I just want to put a little bit of color near where the stars are on both of the corners, that's all. Okay, just a little bit of the deep blue there, a beautiful blue, and a little bit at the top. Okay, so that's the back, and here's for my two pillars. These are a bit trickier to sponge because they're so skinny. I don't want to um, flick it up like I just did. Nice depth of colour there, and then last one. Okay, there's my Pacific Point all done. Now I'm going to use Night of Navy. Just before I start sponging, uh, blending with my brush, I'm going to stamp my greeting for the back of my card, which says the stars are shining brightly. And I'll stamp that right there. Okay, so that's that one done. Just clean my stamp there. And then with my blending brush, once again, rubbing that across the ink pad, and I'm just adding a little bit more depth to the colour. I find adding layers of ink over the top of each other really gives it lovely luminescent quality. So I'm not going all the way over the top of my Pacific Point on the corners there. I want it to shine out a little bit underneath, but it gives it that lovely depth. Okay, so there's that one. Here we go. 
now the front one and once again you can go as dark as you like and remember some of this will be covered up by our stars when we complete our card too and off the edges I'm not going all the way over with my night of navy because I like to have the other blue shining through as well and a night sky well we have the Milky Way here in Australia now night sky has lots of variations in tone that show it up like that I love that okay and then my little pillars and a bit more color there and I love how all of that different tones are coming through as I'm sponging. Okay, there we are, done. Put that out of the way so you can see. Now, the last thing I need to do is use my trusty cloth. This is an old cloth nappy. My youngest child is now 18, and these are the best thing. I, I have one permanently beside my chair all of the time. I'm just going to rub off any excess ink that's on my silver embossing there so that the stars show up a little bit more. Okay. A little bit of ink over there. See, that you'll, you'll come up with a little bit of ink there. So just take it off the silver embossing because it's all about the stars, isn't it? And that's the beauty of the the ink resist the embossing resisting the ink it just rubs off the top there we go and the last one and there we, go. Here we are nice shiny stars again okay what do you reckon? All right, now I'm going to stick my panels into my card. Look at these fingers. Obviously, I've been having fun creating today. Pop that one right in the middle. Oops. There. And then these two on either side. I'm just going to fold that flat to stick it on so that it's easier for me. And you can see a little bit of the shimmer from the white shimmery cardstock coming through, just a touch. <coughs> fold that flat to stick that on so I can line that up with the other one. There we are. Okay, look at that. And then the one on the back. And stick that oops those things get everywhere on the back of my card in the center and again folding it flat to do my gluing it makes it so much easier and also gives the the card that folding memory so that it folds flat to go in there in the envelope. All right, I'm happy with that. I think that looks amazing. In fact, I think I did a better job on that than I did with this one. Okay, the next thing I want to do is flick a little bit of water over it just to give a few more light bits. So I've got my water painter here full of water. I'm just squeezing it there and then just tapping it. So it fl ooh, flicks a bit of water and that will lift some of the color of the sponging of my project I'll pop that off to the side there and show you the next piece All right so I have here's my wipe off my surface here <laughs> a bit of extra water okay I have embossed once again the stars 
There's my window sheet for later. The stars. When I was stamping and embossing with these stars, I made sure that I lined up my stamp with the punch so I had it beside me so that I knew which way up it went to make it easier for me to punch out my stars to create my project, okay? So then, just line up all your stars there. One, and next. Oh, again, I did that again. Last time I pinched my my hand as well. What a silly one. And while I'm punching, so there's all our stars, ready to add extra interest to the card. I've also stamped Twinkle Twinkle Christmas Star for my greeting on the front. Now you could also use Celebrate the Wonder, Be Merry and Bright. I just like this one. So there are so many great greetings. So I've done the Stars of Shining Brightly because I wanted to feature the stars, of course. But I just love the font and, and the sayings on that stamp set. It just works for me beautifully. And my key piece of cardstock on this one is three quarters of an inch by three inches so that I can slide that into my lovely labels pick a punch and punch both ends of that to create my title. Okay, pop that one out of the way. All right, now the next bit of my project just while that's still drying, what I will do is put a little bit of colour on my envelope, which I forgot to do before. I thought I had them all sorted. So a bit of Pacific Point first. As much as possible, wherever you can, always sponge with your lightest colour first. So my Pacific Point, just there. You can see I've got a little bit of Night of Navy still on my brush. So that works perfectly. And then I've also embossed the flap of the back of my envelope. Now we've got our gorgeous envelope coordinating perfectly with the card. Okay, pop away my sponging piece and then get the famous cloth. Rub off any extra ink over the top of the silver so that they shine and the ones on the front. And I've left room there for the address and the postage stamp. Just done a little bit of detail on the front. Doesn't that look lovely? It's nice to have a decorated envelope that coordinates with your card, doesn't it? Alright, so we're almost dry here. I'm going to, because it's taking so long, blot with my cloth. Here we go, blot, 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 and blot. And see how it's picked up that colour and just made it a bit more starry looking? There we are. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now the next thing I've used is some window sheet. I have got one piece of window sheet that is two centimetres. What's that? Three quarters of an inch. And I measured the length of my card this way from there to there to create the length my window sheet so mine's approximately 13 centimeters and when this folds both of the pillars have to fold the same way okay so I do recommend sticking 
the window sheet on while you've folded it flat. As with everything else, stick it while it's flat because that way you know it'll fit inside your envelope when you fold it. And I have used my very favourite adhesive to stick on the window sheet. Mini glue dots. And I'm going to strategically put stars over the top of my mini glue dots later on so that you don't see them. Okay, so pushing that down flat and see if I don't want to put my head in the camera, but yeah, stick that on. Okay, so there you go, that's that. Now this one will go right in the middle, but we won't stick that one on just yet. Now see how you can sort of see the mini glue dots? So we're going to use some of our stars. I'll put this one back in so you can see what I'm doing here. Some of our stars to cover up those mini glue dots there. So there's two there. So if I put my star, oops, you get out of the way. Star down here. Once again, as much as possible, trying to keep it flat while I'm sticking. All right, and don't go over the, the edges of your pillar if you can avoid it because it might not fit into your envelope. Okay, so another star over this side. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is cover up my mini glue dots so that you can't see them on my project. And I can go over this way. Right. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I have cut out of my window sheet some more. I'll put the, bring them over so you can see them on the navy cardstock. Some strips of window sheet. Just random widths. They're all the same length, but I might chop some off. Okay, and put a mini glue dot on the end of the window sheet. Put on my star at the back. Okay, and then another mini glue dot on the other end of my strip. And I'm going to strategically place these so they'll be covered up by this greeting later on. Okay, and that creates my stars floating in the night sky. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, Another one here and a mini glue dot on the other side and pop him down low. One more piece of window sheet. I do um, make exploding boxes and flower pots and stuff and I find the window sheet works brilliantly for this technique. Okay, now another one on this one. And I'm going to put another star at the other end. Um, this one, right down that end. And then put um, that. Now, once again, I need to make sure I don't put it too high so that fits in my. So, there we go. Right, there we are. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, one more for the top here. Up here. And I might have to trim this one off, I think, because it's possibly going to be too long. Let's, let's just fold it flat so I've got my height right. There we go. I'll just grab the scissors and trim that little one there. And one more down the other side. Oh, not the teeny tiny ones. The teeny tiny ones do have to be stuck on with glue. OK. 
Okay, because the mini glue dots are just a bit too big. Radio. And I'll put that behind there. Okay, now with my twinkle twinkle little star greeting, put my adhesive on that, fold it flat and line it up and cover up all of those mini glue dots. Here we go. And last of all, my last couple of stars. This one can fit a mini glue dot. I can pop you there. And then these two little dudes, teeny tiny ones, need a bit of liquid glue. And to make sure I don't put too much glue on, oh, I'm going to start my glue off on my silicon mat so that I've just got a tiny stream of glue coming. Put a little dot there. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, got another dot there. And then with my takey pick tool, sorry. Pop one. And the other. There we go. And we are done. That is your Twinkle Twinkle Christmas Star project featuring the Stars Are Shining bundle with my coordinating envelope. And see how you fold that flat and fits in perfectly. Okay, so I don't know what size envelopes there are for imperial measurements, so you will have to double check that if you're creating this card. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed my project for our share fair this weekend. Bye-bye now.